Hi, my name is Robert Steltman. Today I'm going to show you how uh, we can update HydroFlow files from inside Civil 3D. Using Civil 3D we've created two pipe networks and uh, we've also exported uh, using LAN XML uh, to HydroFlow. If you add the HydroFlow um, install folder to your file support search path you can run HydroFlow from right inside Civil 3D. So we've XML'd in the, our pipe network from uh, Civil 3D and we have, after we've imported it, we're going to save it as an STM file. Then we're going back to Civil 3D. We've drawn some drainage boundaries and now we're going to export these areas to the HydroFlow file. So under the pipe tools, HydroFlow tools, select calculate storm areas. Uh, here's your starting area number and we're going to select our HydroFlow file. Select the pipe and then select all polylines associated with it. We put in our runoff coefficient, we place the block, then we select the next pipe and the polyline and our runoff coefficient, maybe it's 0.65, place the block, enter, it updates the HydroFlow file. HydroFlow, we're going to reopen HydroFlow, the file we just created, and we can see that the two areas have been updated. Now you can change your pipe sizes in here. I'm going to just change two at the end, maybe make it a 900 and a 1050. Now if those if you use the XML in and those pipes aren't in there, your pipe, your pipe network will not get updated. So we've included a tool that will read that pipe file. We grab the HydroFlow storm and now uh, we've updated the pipes. This has become a 900 and this becomes a 1050. Just another example of how Steltman software uh, helps you do your work more efficiently.